Well, hi guys and welcome back to my channel today um i am going to be doing a uh who this video you guys seem to really like these who this videos but today i'm going to be talking about sugar daddies what really goes on behind hooters closed doors girl so if you're interested in like all the tea about hooters then please keep watching okay so let's get into some hooters chat okay the first thing we're going to talk about the first thing we're going to be talking about is uh girls cattiness and like girls um fights and stuff like that um, obviously it happens because you are basically around, you are basically around a whole bunch of girls. You're working with girls. Um, you see these same girls all the time. Um, so it is bound to happen when it comes to cattiness and fights. Um, either it happens in the group chats or it happens in the store but it always happens um me personally i've never been in a situation where um i've been arguing with a girl or any cattiness or any fights or anything like that but i have seen it um yeah so when it comes to that my advice is that you just stay out of it um if you are like me and you're not a person who is very confrontational and you're a person who does not like drama it's so easy to stay away from that um you let them girls do what they gotta do um and you go to work and you make your money um i have seen fights i have seen girls cuss each other out and um, be friends the next day. I have seen girls talk bad about their friends, you know, that they actually hang out with. I have seen it. And my whole thing is, no. You know, if you're my friend and you my girl or you're my friends, talking about me is just not okay, especially if I heard that you're talking about me um i just don't do that then that means that you're not my friend so i'm gonna separate myself i'm not gonna cuss you out i'm not i probably will like you know say something like you know that really hurts my feelings the fact that i had to hear from someone else that you're talking about me you know what i'm saying but i will keep my distance um i'm a person who you know, you show me who you are one time and that's it. Like, I kind of know, like, where to place you. Yeah, and for me personally, I am 24 years old. And I feel like I'm just too grown to be arguing over something so petty and stupid. So, I'll, me personally, I'll just be like, okay, whatever. Like, we're just not cool as I thought that we were. Like... Mm, I don't do it, but I've seen girls fight. I've seen girls cuss each other out in the group chat. I've seen girls cuss each other out on a shift, um, be mad. Like, it's, I've seen a whole, a whole lot of things when it comes to working with the girls at Hooters. Um, and I feel, and honestly, it's not just at Hooters. I feel like it's any, it's everywhere. Um, if you're working with a bunch of girls, because we know how girls are, if you're just working with a whole bunch of girls, there's bound to be some type of drama. Also, I, I want to mention clicks because Hooters can be very clicky. It's very like high school and I'm not that type of girl. Um, I'm cool with everybody. I'm friends with everyone. I talk to everyone. I'm not ever i never really clicked i mean i have my girls that i hang out with but it's not like a click like i've seen a click you will notice a click um yeah so make sure you know about that like there are clicks in hooters um and if you're like that girl like me that like you know just 
very friendly and all that kind of stuff then um you're gonna lean towards the girls who who because there are mean girls in hooters there are mean girls i know i know that's kind of crazy but there are girls who think they're everything like the hooters that I, i'm at now um i feel like well, there's only one girl that everyone just say she's typically the mean girl she's you know me personally she has never done like being mean to me or anything like that but i could see why the girls say that about her but i work with you and i go the fuck home like you know what i'm saying sorry for cussing but that's just what i do like I don't have time for our meanness and all that kind of stuff. You don't want to be friends? We don't have to be friends, but girl, you got a table. You need to take this table. You know what I'm saying? I just don't have time for no mean girl stuff. I'm too old. Um, I, I think, you know, anyways, whatever. But yeah, there are mean girls. And what I have to say about that, um, just don't don't even like literally girls like that don't pay them no mind because that's all they want is just attention and all that kind of stuff pay them no mind pay them no mind remember at the end of the day this is your job this is where you make your money you know what i'm saying so you don't have to be friends with everybody this is a work environment okay this is where you make your money make your money and go home it's okay to be nice and cool and cordial with someone but if you don't have time for fights or you're just not into all that don't be into it um know who to hang out with know who to talk to you know all that another topic that i want to talk to you guys about working at hooters is sugar daddies um yes there are sugar daddies um well sugar sugar there are men who has money that come into hooters and they tip you really good and they buy you things and they may want to take you out they want may they may want to um take you shopping and all that kind of stuff now um I personally, I wouldn't even call him like a sugar daddy, a sugar daddy. I, <clears throat> I had a, a, an experience where I, I would have a regular. Now he wasn't just like my regular, but he was, he came in all the time and he would tip me really, really good. Um, Sometimes I feel like sometimes he would take me more than the other girls he would sit with. Uh, <clears throat> he would take me out. He would take me shopping. Um, yeah, we went out to dinner and all that kind of stuff. He would buy me things. I, I wouldn't say like he was a sugar daddy. Like I wouldn't call him like a sugar daddy. I would just call him like a regular. I would say like, yeah, he was a sugar daddy for me, but he wasn't like a sugar daddy. He was more like a Splenda daddy. Let me just say that. Uh, but um, it happens like you're a pretty girl and these men look at you like, wow, you know. Thank God I really did have to, had a good experience i've known girls who had a really bad experience like for example i'm not gonna say any names but it was this one girl that she started dating dating uh or messing with one of the regulars that come in this is at my old hooters not the hooters that i work at now but um she it was this man everybody knows him he mostly did not he would come into my old hooters sometimes but he would mostly be at airport hooters um or daphne hooters but he did came in our hooters and so he started talking to one of the girls 
that was working there and they got involved with each other and long story short um there was pictures of uh, pictures of her around um the, going around the store, all the regulars would see um, he was just telling her business and all that. And that's a situation where you just do not want to get into. You have to know, like, you just have to know, like, when, when someone tells you about a regular, it's because they know that regular. And just don't, do not get involved. Like, I tell girls all the time, know who you're talking to these regulars are very very messy and like at my old at my old hooters the regulars the regulars that would come in were messy like they knew it was just it was just a very messy situation for for that girl to be in just my advice just know who you're talking to if a girl, if the girls are telling you, like, to leave that man alone, like, don't talk to that man, like, it's a reason why they're saying that, you know? Listen. All in all, Hooters is a really good place to, like, make your money. It's really fun. It's really chill and laid back. So just remember just to have fun, be cute, be pretty, have, you know, have experiences. It's... It's, it's a really great job. You really don't do a lot of hard labor. That's exactly why I like it because it's not hard work and you make really good money for literally doing nothing. Um, so yeah, um, if you're thinking about being a Hooters girl, most definitely do it. Um, if you're on the defense about it, just try it out and you may end up really liking it. And if you don't like it, it's just not for you. Um, but yeah, all in all, um, and be smart and keep it cute. That's all I have to say. Um, you guys love when I talk about Hooters and I like talking about Hooters. I like, uh, you know, giving my best advice. I like all of that. Um, so yeah i'll see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching until next time bye